Hickok 45. I'm wearing an XL today. <laughs> yes, sir, Bob. Let's put an even longer mag in it. <laughs> oh, we got a leak. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yes, XL. The SIG P365XL. If you could read, you already knew that, didn't you? You already expected a lame joke. Actually, I wear a 2XL. This is an XL, though, when it comes to the SIG P365. You have requested it numerous times, and I wanted to look at it anyway and see what I thought about it. And guess what? I load these mags as I'm yakking at you, but I, uh, I wanted to know for my own little self what I thought about it. So we kill two birds with one stone. John and I get to see what we think about it. And guess what? We're going to let you know what we think about it and give you some of the basics. Okay? So got that from Buds. Requested it uh, because you have been requesting it. So we appreciate BudsGunShop.com. They do a world for us. Enable us to grab things like this and uh, when it's out and check it out for ourselves and for you all and we're shooting federal ammo good old federal premium they take care of us don't they look at that cool box of ammo <laughs> oh man and you can fill up a Monte Cristo box uh, with nine millimeter life can't be too bad can it yeah get these mags filled up and don't forget the uh, SDI the Sonoran Desert Institute uh, that, that support us a lot okay and uh, you see them on the, uh, the paper targets now and everything, but they uh, uh, they offer programs in gunsmithing. You can get certified in gunsmithing. You can get a degree, an associate's degree in firearms technology. Got a lot of different programs, a lot of different course courses there. So check them out. Take the GI Bill, and uh, you've heard us talk about them for for years, and uh, a lot of you have taken advantage of that because I hear from you. So appreciate you helping the people that help us. And uh, we're glad to be able to bring this to you because, uh, man, I tell you, I, I just, I know some of you think I'm becoming a SIG person because I have actually purchased some lately myself. And uh, I, they're just making some pretty cool guns lately. Now, there are the detractors, you know, and there were problems with the regular P365, which guess what? I happen to have one. And uh, I think it's in my pocket. Yes. Right where you expect. Now, it's not hot. But uh, it's kind of warm. It's been out in the sun. See, I know whether my firearms are hot or not. Now, I have put, by the way, I have <laughs> I had to explain the, the talon grips. Uh, uh, we appreciate them taking care of us, too. And on this one, I may have uh, told you all this. I put, the reason you see a little bit of a split there is mainly it, it actually matched when I first put them on. But I have two layers of talon grips on that. You can kind of tell. Uh, I mean, you know, they just make this thing feel so much better, but it, it really, for me, my large hand, I need two two layers on it. And uh, and that's been my carry gun a lot lately, I tell you. That's my pocket gun right there. So it just feels great with those grips on it. And because uh, the, the one thing about the SIG P365 is SIG almost over-engineered it, and, and as far as I'm concerned. Of course, I, you know, speak with big hands, right? Because... They really, it's not so much the length that they, they uh, did anything about in terms of getting a lot of rounds in the smaller mags. It was mainly the circumference, you know. Uh, and it's almost too thin, the grips are, for me. This one feels a little better because it's a little longer. But, yeah, so I beefed mine up a little bit. So, so anyway, we're going to shoot both of these and, you know, let you know what we think about it, especially the new one. I'm not going to shoot the, three, the original uh, necessarily a great deal. But we're going to shoot this one, and maybe I'll take a few shots with both of them and give you a feel. One of the things we'll share is the difference in recoil, maybe the feel. Because you'd expect a little difference. This one is a, I think it's a, oh, the barrel is a, I believe, a half an inch longer on the XL. Okay, six-tenths of an inch longer. And, uh, you know, it's got a little longer grip. And so that makes a difference. you got more weight. It's a couple of ounces heavier than the original P365. So two ounces, you know, and then half an inch longer on the slide and barrel. 
that kind of thing just just makes a difference doesn't it and uh so we're gonna do that and and see how they shoot how you know they kind of compare and then uh, we're going to actually compare them with the the glock 26 as well we want to give you an idea of the size and the difference and with some um, again i'm sorry bringing in a glock and all that sort of thing glock 26 but it's just one of the things we do even if i did not like glocks uh the world knows them very very well uh, more so than probably all the CZ lineup or M&P lineup, I, I, by, at least by a, a slim margin, I think, still. So I still use that for a lot of the comparisons. So that's a 26. We'll put a Model 19 here on the other side, too. How's that? See that? So that gives you an idea with a flush magazine. In the Glock, you have 10 rounds in the mag, right? Flush mag. In the new SIG XL, you have 12. And, you know, the Glock uh, 19 holds 15 in a flush mag. So that kind of gives you an idea there on capacity and size and that. We'll talk about a couple other things regarding size. Okay, so pretty cool. So before I shoot it though, again, I want to I want to uh, again make you aware of someone else who is supporting us now. Atmex, American Precious Metals Exchange. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Don't know if you've ordered from them. I know a lot of people have, and a lot of folks that are into firearms are also into precious metals, at least on some level, whether it's silver or gold, whatever. And you know, these are the kinds of things, again, they offer here's at one ounce uh, bars, you can get silver dollars, and these are the American Eagles, you know, you can get uh, all that stuff is, you know, one ounce quantities or just whatever. They've got everything on their site. Really good reputation. If you have been in the precious metals, uh, arena, I don't know, ordered online and know much about it at all, you know that they are very strong in terms of their inventory. They've got a little bit of everything, or a lot of everything, and uh, and just have a great reputation. Okay, so I want to remind you of that again. And let us proceed. Let's, what, what do you want me to do? Tell me. What do you want me to do first? Okay, that's a pretty good suggestion. Uh, you want me to go ahead and, and just get a, a feel for the difference between these two. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I've got them both loaded. So let me just shoot both of them here and give you an idea of the, you know, my impressions on, on the difference. Because some of you really, really are concerned about recoil if you haven't shot a lot, I know, and just shootability, sight radius, and all that sort of thing. So let me shoot the uh, P365 first. Uh, then I'll just have some fun while I'm doing it. How's that? <laughs> as I always do and I'm gonna I'm gonna register the recoil and the feel of it and how I can shoot can I hit anything like that bowling pin yeah or that one oh, missed. or that plus or that two <laughs> we got another round yeah we did now let me shoot this one well wow, that's fresh on my mind fresh on my hand Oop, let's put around the chamber. Get a bowling pin. Another one. And another one. <laughs> let's hit a plate. Boom. Okay, what do I think? Uh, well, there are other reasons that might be even more important to you in terms of which one you want, which one you you know would rather carry of course but shootability is a, is a factor there's not a dramatic uh, difference uh and again i kind of specialize in small handguns and make myself get used to them but i i don't think you would notice a dramatic difference in how well you can shoot this one over that one or vice versa okay you can feel just a little bit more jump with this one makes sense you know you got a what a half inch shorter on the slide in the barrel and so you got a little more weight in this one you know in the longer barrel so, and a little more sight radius. So I think most people would shoot the XL a little better. I mean, really, anybody, uh, generally, you know, is going to shoot it a little better because it's a little bigger sight radius and everything, the weight. Uh, so it comes down to how you're going to carry it. I think the biggest difference, if you're looking at these two, and, uh, and many people are, because this is one of the hottest guns, uh, you know, not ignoring all the problems they had when it, it came out. You know, we were fortunate. We didn't really notice much with the one we had, but uh, and weren't even aware of the problems in our first video with this one. But uh, some people were having a lot of problems. But apparently they have tweaked that, and what you're hearing and seeing now is just 
person after person, you know, shooting thousands of rounds with no issues. And, and that's where John and I are with them. We've got two or three of them between us, and we are yet to have a malfunction. Okay? I mean, we'll let you know when we do, but we're, uh, we're so far happy. Uh, so a, a lot of people are looking at them, especially now that they have been tweaked and they're, they're, they're working really well. So I, I'm, I'm comparing these a little bit, and let's do that uh, side by side too. You can see the difference there, of course. The smaller one holds 10 rounds flush, and, and the XL holds 12 flush, all right? And then you can see the difference in the length. They are getting lined up, you know, so that's what you got. Uh, so that's kind of the comparison weight. I've talked about length and, you know, and, and shootability and everything. Now, I think that the biggest difference, though, is, and you saw me pull this one out of my pocket. I've been carrying this even on Elvis Presley Boulevard lately, right? This is my one of my carry guns lately, my key carry gun, okay? Pocket. Uh, this probably is not going to be a pocket gun. This Now, this one does get, I think, beyond... Uh, pocket carry unless you've got a big jacket pocket or something like that you know I mean you could you could I mean let's see we're clear I mean I could put this in a cargo pocket I don't like to put anything down in those big cargo pockets so it just slaps against your leg and all that kind of thing if I am going to carry something in a pocket I want it to be up here basically with good holster and everything uh, and I know you folks in other countries in some states that are like other countries you that's irrelevant to you but uh, it's a big big factor here okay uh, so when I mention that so basically that's why comparison of this one really should be with other firearms in kind of that category that's why I have to look at this compared with a uh, maybe a 26 you know or a, or a Glock 19 or one like that I started to get out the M&P and didn't do it I'm sorry I could have uh, warded held off a lot of Glock haters couldn't I uh, so one of the advantages here is this gun is thinner than the standard Glock 9mm, okay, and lighter. And you can put a 15 round mag in it. Now this Glock here holds 15, so we're not looking at apples to apples necessarily. We're talking 12 rounds in this one and then 15 in this one. But the SIG is, is thinner, it's shorter, it's lighter, and everything. So you would find this SIG XL uh, as a uh, well, you know, a belt carry gun or whatever, shoulder holster, however you want to carry it uh, outside the pocket. I, I, again, I don't consider it a pocket gun, but uh, I mean, it could be, could be, it's possible. Uh, it's just a, a much uh, smaller, thinner uh, uh, firearm that holds 12 rounds. And if you want 15, here's a 15 round magazine. Okay, those are available now. Now that gets you up to 15. It does make it a little bit longer if you're planning to keep it in there. But again, if it's on your belt, you know, even that little bit of added length would matter if you really like the firearm. And if, if for you, a Glock 9mm is a little too thick in the grip, that's who's really going to like this firearm over, say, a Glock 19 or, you know, even the M&Ps and a lot of their firearms, they're a little, they're thicker than this in the grip, okay? So for me, the 19 feels really, feels great. And I have to wrap my SIGs up again with, you know, talon grips you know, and enough layers to, to get it to feel good. Now, on the Glock 26, for example, I have one layer of uh, talon grips on that. So I don't need to make it thicker, see? Uh, so, it's, it's, and, and for some of you, it's way too thick to begin with. And that's, that's a lot of people, you know? It, it really is. I hear from you all the time. You don't have hands like John and I have. And you don't need something that big. In fact, it feels like a two by four to you. And those are the folks, you are the folks that firearms like this are going to really appeal appeal to. Let me load the mag while I'm talking about it, okay? Uh, and see, yeah, the 12 round mags, it comes with two standard 12 round mags. Uh, and in, a, in terms of this firearm, some things you have that you don't have on the, the small one, you got the uh, plate on the top for an RMR, right? So you can pop you a, an RMR on there, a red dot. And you got a little more beaver tail with that one, you notice. And you kind of got an X frame on it. It's, uh, it's got that beaver tail and you got that flat trigger that, that breaks in a nice spot. It, it really does. It's like that, what was it, the X uh, Carry P320 we did recently. I really like that firearm. Had a trigger like that has a trigger like that, the flat trigger, and uh, man, 
I like that on all my pistols, to tell you the truth. So uh, that's a really nice, nice feature. So that's kind of the overall take on it. Uh, I think if I've left anything major out, you know, it's just like the other one. If you take it apart, let's shoot one more time before I let you go. And I've got 15 round mags and I've got a 12 round mag. Man, we're ready, aren't we? Let's have a little fun with it. Uh, my experience shooting, I've been shooting it off before the video, is uh, it, it's nice. I like it. I, I really like it a, a lot. I, I'm not sure it has a place for me over my, my bigger, thicker Glocks necessarily because it goes to the belt, you know, generally, or some kind of other carry. Uh, but I think, I think it's going to be a, a very popular firearm, I'll have to say. Uh, it's just a nice little firearm. Not too big and not too small. Let's shoot the paper over here. How's that? And you know what? We've not even smoked any pot yet. What is wrong with me? Eat all this. Yeah, feels good. I just wanted to keep shooting. Yeah, let's. Uh, who else needs to be taken out right here? How about that pot? <laughs> How about that bowling pin? Uh, <laughs> All right. Oh, there's oh, there's a couple more down there. Gee, doggy. <laughs> Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Put a 15 round mag in it. See if that works. All right. Let's go there and hit the gong. What's wrong with me? Okay, can't hear it. Where am I going? Let me hold a little bit lower. There we go. Okay, settle down. Settle down. If I hold on the bottom of it and get a good trigger break, I will hit it. Okay. I get carried away sometimes with these polymer 9 millimeters, and I just want to shoot like that pig over there in the middle of the field. See? I just want to shoot stuff like right here, the cowboy. <laughs> and that's what it's for banging around and it's empty so the xl not not bad uh uh it operates just like the other one the basic and if you're not familiar with either one of these you've not held them or anything i recommend you try them okay it may not be your cup of tea uh but you know i have some biases with firearms and it uh, uh these have really gotten my attention let's put it that way okay for the size and the shootability uh so you know i've been carrying one for a good while i've been shooting it a fair amount uh, the smaller one and uh yeah, this seems like uh, this is going to be a winner too so i would uh if you've not tried these unless you've got a mental block against sig you know they have their issues sometimes uh, i would recommend you try them rent one somewhere in a, in, a, in a range where they rent a lot of firearms uh you might really like it or you might not but if you have issues with your grip, you just have trouble finding a grip that you like, they're too big or blocky or anything, uh, you definitely want to try one of these, okay? Uh, this one or the, the small one, I think. And uh, this is just, uh, my overall estimation is, it's just a, a nice little carry gun. Uh, I would consider it a full-size gun, sort of, because it won't go in the pocket very well. And it's gonna be something that would be fairly light and pretty good capacity you could have 12 in it and you could have a 15 round magazine you know at your disposal you know and whatever in a pocket or something if you're carrying okay so the XL looks like it's going to be a winner especially since the P365 uh, apparently fingers crossed has been tweaked 
uh, and is now a reliable firearm, it seems to be, okay? Uh, and feel free to share your experiences. I know some of you have horrible experiences with them, but most people don't. Most people don't. So the, the XL version of it, that's what it is. And uh, I, uh, let's see, price-wise, I think they sell for about, like the others, like five and a half, something like that. MSRP maybe 575 or something, and they're probably selling for close to five. You know, I'm not sure. Something in that ballpark. So uh, something to consider if you're looking for a carry gun, okay? A nice little pistol. So glad you came by today and appreciate you watching. Appreciate you support the people that support us. And uh, we'll be back with some more firearms. Life is good. Hey, go along. Oh, hey, just throwing a little frisbee here on the range. While you're here, I want to remind you to check us out in some other places on the internet and our friends over at Talon Grips. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter under Hickok45 and on Instagram under The Real Hickok45 and John underscore Hickok45. Also, go to bunkerbranding.com for our t shirts, hats, patches and stickers so we appreciate of course the support from talon grips go to talongungrips.com they make all sorts of different textured grips for handguns and rifles uh, dad's been using them for a lot of years they do great work and we're happy to have them on board so please check them out talongungrips.com and then also don't forget we have videos on gun streamer now so if you're watching them over there you probably already know about it but if you're not you might not, so maybe check that out, gunstreamer.com. And uh, hey, there's some more videos being recommended to you that you should probably be watching right now. So I'll let you go. Thanks.